funny story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. <laughs> uh, no, so um, <laughs> August, August, yeah, six she August, six she's August like the ski. That's what my grandfather used to say to me when I was a child. It means in Gaelic, it's sit down and tell your story. Hello, I'm John Smith here in County Kerry. I've just come out my front door and this is my front yard. It's raining here today, but I love the rain. It cleanses the earth, it washes all the filth away. And a lot of the people who come here, they just want to throw their rubbish and pollute the place. And that's just the way they live their lives. But thankfully, the rain is keeping them away today. Due to our current circumstances, nobody can go more than two kilometers from their own home. And that's fine with me because I have this all to myself. It's beautiful, it's natural, it's not being polluted, and it's all mine. That's the way I love it. My story, it's, well, it's something that's happened, I guess, a lot throughout the ages. It's, if you're religious, you go back to the book of Genesis. And it's the first book in the Bible. And what did God do? He sent a flood, cleansed humanity, got rid of most people on earth and kind of pressed the hard reset button, you know? Um, he spared a few, Noah and his family and two of the animals, they all went onto the ark and they were fine. Yeah, you know, life is fine after all that. If you're not religious, then um, the meteorite came from the heavens and wiped out the dinosaurs. Kind of press the old, the old hard race hit button again. Um, and yeah, this kind of stuff has happened throughout the centuries. I mean, the bubonic plague, the Black Death, it, it, that was an instance. We have a more recent, more recent instance. I mean, the, um, anybody want to tell me the, um, no, I, I didn't think you were going to say that. <laughs> uh, Oh, cheeky. The, the, Spanish, the Spanish flu, that was the one I was thinking of, the Spanish flu. And that's, that's my story. Um, it's it, it said around the Spanish flu, my, my grandfather, John Smith, that John with a H, J-O-H-N, Smith, he lived through the Spanish flu. And the world was crazy back in 1918. World War I was just ending. The world had known nothing but killing and, and violence and debt. And humanity just didn't care about anything. Yeah, you know, people were killing their fellow human beings, and it needed a hard reset. And that came with the Spanish flu. The Spanish flu was was like a godsend. It it, it came, but it was a silent enemy, and it affected people in ways they'd never known before. And I guess it taught people how to be human again. It, people couldn't go to work, so they stayed at home with their families. Parents, spent, they spent time with their children. Factories were closed, so the, the air got better. Smog wasn't a problem. You know, the earth started to heal. And my grandfather, he saw this, and he talked to people about it. And a guy he knew, he introduced them to a, a like-minded group of people called the purifiers. And what they were is there were people who thought that the flu was something that they needed to spread. Something that would help cleanse humanity and something that would press that hard reset button. So they went out of their way, they went out there. Anyone they knew that got, got anyway sick, they went to places they shouldn't have gone. They went to churches where there was hundreds of people. They went to gatherings and parks or wherever children were playing and the thing about the flu is it didn't care if you're young if you're old if you're a man if you're a woman if you're rich if you're poor it just it cleansed indiscriminately and my grandfather he got it he survived it but he got it but he told me that he went out and he spread it far and wide while he had it he went into churches and he, he spat on bibles he went in and he went to hospitals to visit people and he'd like wiped himself 
wherever he could so that maybe they might get it. And I know it sounds like a bad thing. And yeah, maybe it was in some ways, but he felt that he was helping humanity. He was going out there to press that hard reset button, which, you know, it couldn't last a few weeks. It couldn't last a few months. This thing needed to last for years. And in the end, you know, they were quite successful. I mean, it wasn't solely down to them, but they went out and they, the flu wiped out, I don't know, 40, 50 million people around the world. So it was a pretty good return. Um, and he told me, like, he was a great man. He really was. I remember he, he told my dad when he came back from Germany in the 40s after World War II, he spent a bit of time over there. He, um, he told my dad that he may get a chance to do some heroic acts like he did. And um, my, dad, my dad never really did, but I might. And I remember him sitting me on his knee when I was a child. And he said, someday, he said, John, you may get a chance to go out there and help cleanse the world just as I did. Press that, that reset button. And um, I don't know, maybe I will. Maybe, maybe you all could. Maybe you could all go out there and just Kill people. Yeah, do what's, what's best for the planet. What's, you know, population growth is out of control. Look at, look at the way the world is going. Like in 20 years time, we're going to have 10 billion people. The world can't keep up at the pace that it's going. Yeah, people are killing each other in the streets. Yeah, we need a little bit of um, a little bit of a reset. And I think I think my time will come. I'm not sure when. Maybe soon. Maybe maybe who knows? <laughs> it could be tomorrow. But um, yeah, it's um. Oh, <laughs> sorry, it's, it's tea. Um, but yeah. That's pretty much my story, guys. Uh, I, I hope that maybe some of the, the words that I've imparted today would, would help you guys and help you see the world the way it really is. That's interesting. And if I win 100,000, we'll all have a party. It'll be great. <laughs> John, you have one minute. Okay, like in Apollo 13, Tom Hanks will say, Houston, we have a problem. Are you asking for help with the reset button, or? I'm not, I, I don't know. Like, I'm not asking for help because I'm not doing anything. Maybe, maybe you need to reset yourself. <laughs> and you <laughs> do a hard reset. Yes. <laughs> I, I try. I try to reset every day. <laughs> yeah, I see. I see. <laughs> I can see you with it with your teeth. This, it's um, it's it's icy. I mean, okay. see, it's it's rude, but I can understand the thought. Huh. I can't oh. understand. I can't understand. Honestly, I don't know if that for real or not. But are you Is thinking? It are you thinking? Are you thinking? Are you thinking yeah. that? I I heard Satara's story, and we're we're basically the same. You and I, we're 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 quite no. the same. Yes. Mother Earth. I, yeah, she she needs us. She needs us. Yeah, but it's not.